welcome back my gardening friends well giant vegetables i just want to thank stephen from southwest giant and show veg on facebook for sending me some uh, giant marrow seeds now i only uh, tried two out of all the ones that he sent that one you can see now has been fed on my liquid plant food and it is uh, slightly bigger and these are the seeds that uh, he kindly sent so basically the ones that you can see now are this one can't see if it's actually focused in this uh, sunlight but that's i've used two seeds there so that grew to a 70 pound marrow these that i haven't opened yet that one is another 70 pound uh, marrow uh, these are all his own seed and uh, this one's a pumpkin and that one looked like it got to 265 pound not sure what the uh, 1027 and the other numbers on the others uh, actually mean but uh, no doubt it means something to all those veg growers so one of these is going up to uh, my father's allotment on the uh, ancient uh, muck heap which is drying out really uh, quickly actually so i don't know whether it'll survive the best one is going in my compost bin it's sinking all the while but hopefully it'll survive uh, very very late planting these whether i'll get anything i don't know but you know me i'll always try something first and worry about it later but this will give me a little bit of experience um, for sowing it next year so let's go and uh, pop it in the compost bin now there's quite a good bit of material there that i've bought up i've dug the hole ready keep adding to it all the time as we do so i'm going to pop this in now and we'll see if it'll uh, gradually fall to the ground i'd plant it in the garden but everything's so dry it wouldn't survive now the roots <coughs> the other day weren't out but you can see that's uh, that's really wanting to get out of that pot i put my other tip to water but i've actually watered from underneath anyway going to uh, take a bit of time and actually get this out without damaging anything and as you can see it's uh, a little pot band so there's plenty of good roots there though just going to leave it in at an angle <clears throat> this is uh, what I've managed to get at the moment it's really nice stuff taking care not to submerge that root uh, the stem and I've got a bit of wood in place now I've actually cooked my worms twice at the moment uh, it's so warm in there with the insulation as it does cool down I'm hoping that uh, as it gets a little bit bigger it'll just uh, work its way out that shouldn't be too bad there's not too much wind forecast so we'll leave that up for tonight now it's actually been now it's actually planted somewhere where it can actually grow It'll be surprising how uh, quickly it'll be before it's uh, over and down and on the floor. So if you are interested in uh, giant vegetables and show vegetables, then pop across that Facebook group and see if they'll let you in. And just mention that uh, I sent you. Really, uh, really chuffed to bits that they sent me some seeds. Really, really generous of the, uh, the group especially Steve. We'll have a quick look at the uh, show onions. Uh, these are the calce. Uh, some of them I've had to take out because I have been watering a lot and it's uh, 
I'll leave that one in but the, it, it, it's rotting them off underneath don't think it's white rot I think it's just the amount of water and feed that I've been giving them let's have a look at the onions in the polytunnel these are Dan's from uh, allotment diary now all these are a similar size again you can see where I've been watering them and it's just gone a little bit but that's only the skin but I am pleased uh, with those and whether I decide to show them or whatever I don't know at the moment the giant parsnips in the tubs uh, you can see extra stems coming out now so I'm hoping that that means they're expanding at the top I didn't use mycorrhizal fungi like all the rest or all the other products just my homemade liquid plant foods and compost mixes so it's just a learning curve maybe I should have used some mycorrhizal fungi but I'd have to buy it oh dear one of the carrots giant carrots in the tunnel I've had to put this over the top um, to do it oh, it looks like that's actually uh, split but uh, again you've got to keep them watered Here's a giant parsnip I say, won't know until I actually uh, dig them out. Just a learning curve. But by just looking at the amount of foliage on each of these, it's just absolutely amazing. And even the ones in the ground, you know, they're three, three foot high, maybe more, four foot. I'm um, just a little bit overcrowded in here. Um, as normal I'll try and pack everything in but I've started to leave the flowers now to start to try and get uh, the uh, that's the long and then we've got the heavy nothing coming at the moment again a learning curve my giant swede is uh, looking a bit moth ridden our friends the uh, well, I'll try. It's a bit awkward to see uh, how big that is, but it's uh, getting to a size. I don't know how much bigger it'll get. Again, we'll we'll find out eventually. I think this one is my best beetroot. Again, very difficult for me to see what you can see, but it's from from there to about there. So it's uh, three inches across. It's got a lot more growing to do. I haven't actually had a little. I do keep getting tempted to have a look. Just wait and see. Wait till September. Then we'll uh, really see whether I'm going to be embarrassed when I put my little parsnip on the bench. Thanks for watching, guys. Commenting, subscribing, liking, and even sharing. Thank you, Linda Penny, for regularly sharing my videos. And just. Uh, a, a quickie while I'm here uh, now a lot of people are having uh, the videos at the front of their uh, vids the uh, the ads I am now watching and letting the ads run while I read the comments so please support everybody including myself let the ads run read the comments learn from the ad uh, the comments and uh, support everyone Happy gardening to you all, till next time my friends, try for now.